Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. <laughs> it's funny but it's serious. A French soldier was uh, killed in Romania and <laughs> I made a video yesterday about some uh, French soldiers <laughs> crying uh, <laughs> about their uh, conditions. Uh, they were deployed in Romania to defend the eastern flank of NATO and they, <laughs> they complained about the bed bugs, uh, not enough food to eat, cold in the tents and all that. And now a poor guy was killed in the hotel room in Romania. I will tell you the details and believe me, <laughs> I got the right details here for you. Not what they tell you in this article. I can't help it. <laughs> this article comes from Sputnik and it's from today all right the 6th of november 2022 french soldier deployed in romania as part of nato mission found dead in hotel <laughs> in hotel what was he doing in the hotel reports say i will tell you what he was doing a french soldier was found dead in a in a hotel in the romanian capital of bucharest while the French military contingent arrived as part of a NATO mission, French media reported on Sunday. According to the reports, cleaning personnel found a 41-year-old man with scissors. Let me show you. Not these ones, but <laughs> this kind of... <laughs> in his neck! Not this one, okay? Not this one. These are my weapons here. <laughs> oh my God. So with scissors, scissors stuck in his neck in his hotel room with no signs of forced entry visible because the lady of the night was invited in <laughs> and he wanted to do some hanky-panky and she probably said, no, we don't do this here. <laughs> So again, according to reports, the cleaning personnel found a 41-year-old man with scissors stuck in his neck in his hotel room with no signs of forced entry vi visible. The media reported that along with other French soldiers, he checked into the hotel on Thursday and was supposed to stay there until January 3rd. Wow, why? The police have launched an investigation into the case. <laughs> I can help them. I can tell them exactly what they should look for. French Defense Minister Sébastien Lecornu visited Bucharest last week to open a new military base with 750 French soldiers in the Romanian town of Cincu, designated to strengthen NATO's eastern flank. 750. Are there 750 Romanians deployed in France? No. So, good job, Romania. Good job. On Friday, French newspaper reported that France has faced some difficulties in setting the base up. Some of the 70, 750 French soldiers deployed in Cincu still live in tents. <laughs> oh my god, like migrating, like uh, migrating tribes. Uh, while difficulties also occurred during the transportation of military equipment to Romania. A lot of thieves, I guess, they send the trains over there and out of, let's say, 50 uh, carriages or whatever, got there about five. <laughs> one by one just stopped in Romania at different locations. France is also responsible for commanding NATO mission Eagle in Romania. Launched short, shortly after the start of the Russian special military operation in Ukraine under the mission 500 French soldiers and 300 Belgian soldiers Jesus Christ Belgians in Romania I don't have anything with the Belgians but Belgian is like a town for us so Belgians are in Romania to defend us used to be 24, 23 million people, Romania. Belgian is about what? What? I can't hear you. One, two, three million, I, something like that. I don't even know if it's like, I don't know, something like that. They come to defend us. Good, who's paying? 
and 500 French soldiers and 300 Belgian soldiers were sent to a military base near the city of Constanza on the Black Sea coast. Ooh, that's a very nice uh, resort over there, seaside resort. So I'm sent, I'm, I can guarantee you, I guarantee you, that it was an explosion of the ladies of the night in that area. Whew. Can you imagine Belgians and French coming to Paris, baby doll? No, you're not. Everything happens in a hotel room. <laughs> Make sure you don't have scissors around. <laughs> oh my. Oh man. So, it says here, later they were joined by the military from the Netherlands. What's going on there? Romania. Uh, I will keep it a little bit. In addition, the French anti-missile complex Mamba is deployed in Romania. So, as of now, in Romania are Dutch, Belgians, French, and Americans. All right? That's good, man. That's good. That's good. I'm glad I left that country. I'm so glad I would be pissed as fuck if I would be over there. I'm, I'm being here, I am, uh, <clears throat> far away from those I, you fight, I, I don't know how to, I mean, I have so much to say, that's the point. Romania, or the Romanians, or whomever you want, however you want to call them, Valaks, that, whatever, they tried, they fought, not tried, they fought centuries invaders, be it Romans, when the Dacians fought them, be it, uh, I don't know, Magyars, being uh, Huns, being uh, Slavic, being Tatars, Turks, Poles, Russians, all these guys, all these guys, then the Germans, then the Soviets, and you just, these guys got you with bread and salt, the traditional, you know, welcome uh, ceremony traditional still, you know, coming from the Greeks, the ancient Greeks. Probably is going to be politically incorrect soon, and uh, Brussels would say that that's not a value. A new value is, I don't know, having two cocks or something like that. So yes, Romania, yes. Good job. Your defense minister um, uh, submitted his resignation about three weeks ago <clears throat> because he just hinted that maybe the Ukrainians can't win and they should just uh, talk to, to Russia, negotiate. That was a no-no. He had to get the fuck out. Um, that country is under occupation, 100%. And it's a smooth occupation. It was not with war. It was with weasels, with democracy, and freedom, and all the values that uh, the West uh, has. Belgians, Dutch, protecting Romania. Why do they need to f protect Romania? Because you don't have a, an army. That's why. Why don't you have an army? Because you restructured it. Who told you to restructure it? Your NATO buddies and the European Union. And what happened? Now you get those guys. How come these guys can send contingents in your country? How come? Didn't they restructure theirs? Or they just sacrifice for you? Is that what it is? All these guys sacrifice for you? Is that this is the message you send to the Romanians? That because your Romanians are bowless, impotent, like that, you need the Belgians to come? The Belgians? God damn it! Jesus Christ! I'm, I know, man. It's, I have nothing against those guys. Don't get me wrong. I have a problem with the Romanians. That's who I'm not the, uh, better like this, like a beach slap, beach slap. Not, not with the, those guys. I don't care about those guys. French, uh, Americans. That, I have a problem with the Romanians. They're not independent. They're not free anymore. They destroyed everything they had before. They depend, they are dependent on other countries like weasels. 
That's not a country. It's just a country by name. By name. By name. Actually, land is bought over there. The agra uh, agrarian land is bought by foreigners. Where is your gold, Romania? Who takes your wood? Not that one. Who takes your oil? All the resources are owned by others. How is that possible? You ha don't have a military. As I said, you just by name a country. Just by name. I have to, uh, but I will not be able. I mean, I, I still have a Romanian heart until I die, obviously. So uh, even if I left, uh, you know, very sour and angry from that country, uh, I still, uh, you know, you can't get rid of this feeling and I don't want to get rid of it. Because it's just, you know, you have, uh, you have, it's something that you can't explain. And uh, these guys are just raping your nation, raping your, your, your country, your nation, however you want to call it. You know, you, you still have a connection with that country, with those people. I left because of weasels. I'm not going to go back because of weasels. I would go back, but... Uh, if I would be coming back with, I don't know, Jesus Christ or something, uh, or I would come with uh, four uh, riders of the apocalypse, yeah, I would come with them together and uh, make sure that we distribute uh, justice, love and happiness. And uh, yeah, I would come like that. I would, I, would, I would help that country. But you don't find with the Romanians, you have to deal with these guys. <laughs> you know, you're right in the belly of the beast. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.